This is a great seed mix. This has got uh, already shelled peanuts, sunflower seeds, and some other kind of nuts, uh, flour, and I'm not sure what else. The already shelled nuts are great for birds who will eat nuts, like woodpeckers, but their beaks are not built for shelling. You just put uh, sunflower seeds in the shell. Woodpeckers have a hard time with it. They usually will shy away from it. And they love the peanuts too. So with this variety you get a little bit more variety of birds on your feeder. Now, you know, I put suet out also so I get the woodpeckers regardless but this just, uh, I think, gives them a little bit more kind of easy to obtain food. Well, I've got the bird seed put in. I still need to fill the suet feeders and uh, do that. But I thought maybe you might be interested in seeing my bird feeder setup. If you're in the U.S., you might be familiar with uh, Wild Birds Unlimited. It's a chain, I guess a national chain, um, but they sell this, what's called the advanced pole system. Uh, I don't have all of this gear, but you can get, basically you buy everything in pieces. You buy the main pole, you can get extensions if you want to make it higher, you can get little decorative things. You can put one, two, three, four, you can put as many hooks as you want and how high you want to go. I have the main pole, I have three hooks, so I have a suet feeder, um, I have this which is sort of a suet feeder, it uses a thing called bark butter. This is very natural and woodpeckers love it because they can hang on like a tree but you fill that with a substance, it's kind of like peanut butter but it's got uh, more fat and nutrients in it. And then that's my seed feeder. I get so many birds around here, that'll last a couple weeks, I guess. And that's a squirrel baffle. And probably the whole reason I bought this system is because we have very ingenious squirrels and just buying a regular garden shepherd's hook, which granted is a lot cheaper, I couldn't keep squirrels off of it. I even tried fashioning my own baffles. They outsmarted them all, but so far none of them have able, been able to defeat that. You can even get a larger one that'll that'll handle raccoons. And then you can buy these branches, and there are all kind of little add-ons. You can add on little kind of like tray things on there if you want to put fruit or something in for different species of birds. You can buy different decorative finials to go on top. As much as I like to sit on the porch and watch birds, that's pretty cool. I've really enjoyed this system. It's not for the faint of heart spending wise, but it really has been worth it because I couldn't make what I had work. Uh, just to ha hang a feeder like in a tree, uh, squirrels will get to it in no time. And I don't feed squirrels because we have a bit of an overpopulation and uh, they will just go through that seed in probably two days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I come here on the porch and sit in my rocking chair, you can kind of see what my view is. And once the birds get used to me, uh, I can use my camera. And I can get some pretty close-up shots. They they don't. If you make sudden movements, they'll spook. But anyway, gotta f fill the other feeders. Oh yeah, I also have this tray over here, and this is just sitting on the railing. I need to fill that up. I fill that with safflower. Um, safflower uh, squirrels don't touch. They don't like it. Uh, but all the seed birds love it. So I put safflower in there. I just got noticed that in our area hummingbirds have been sighted, which this is really early for hummingbirds. This is about a month early. Usually it's mid-April. So I'm gonna have to get that sucker cleaned up and uh, ready for the hummingbirds. I don't know if any of you are familiar with a YouTube channel called Leslie the Bird Nerd. Um, I enjoy her channel and her videos and my Estimation she doesn't get nearly enough traffic. So here's a shout out to Leslie the bird nerd And I'm gonna put the link right down in the description. I bet there's probably several of you uh, If you're a bird lover that already subscribe, but if you're interested in birds learning a little bit more about birds now She's up in Canada. So the species that she deals with differs a little bit From us here in the Carolinas, 
but it's still really interesting if you're interested in birds. So go check out Leslie the Bird Nerd. Well, welcome to my very, very messy garage. You get out the bark butter. This is what goes on that hanging stick. And we'll do this suet called nuts and berries. And here's the safflower seed for the for the dish. It allows the birds to pick this out of these holes, which is a very natural kind of an action, especially for things like uh, wrens and nuthatches and woodpeckers. Um, the nuthatches and woodpeckers in particular uh, will crawl up and down these stems and pick, in their natural setting, they'll pick uh, bugs and stuff out of holes. And this has a lot of fat content, which is great for their nesting and especially during the winter. They like to eat a lot of fat, I guess. I'm not a bird expert. I'm learning. I mostly just like to paint and draw them and watch them. And I, as I understand it, there's a lot of recipes online where you can make this kind of thing for birds. I'm sure some of you are probably going to mention that. Um, which is fine. I don't really want to take the time to do that. You know, that's all time I could be spending doing art. So, I'll just buy this stuff. But And this bark butter has lasted me a long, long time. And they will it takes them a while to go through all this. Uh, only certain species seem to touch this. And they will literally pick every last ounce of this bark butter off of this lamb before it's said and done.
Well, thanks everyone for joining me on my little bird feeding and growing excursion. I did bring the bird inside and do a little more work with regular watercolor just to deepen and strengthen some of the deep tones. But I think it'll work out great in my white-breasted nuthatch spread here. I think over here I'm going to add some pen and ink drawings with maybe a little wash. I don't know, but it'll all be white-breasted nuthatch sketches when I'm done. Thanks for joining me and we will see everyone in the next video.